Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I am very excited for today. I am wrapping up 2021 and I'm starting my best of series and I figured what better way than to start off with my top 10 purchases from TJ Maxx and Marshalls this year. If you are a subscriber of mine, then you know that every single week I go to the discount stores and I look for high-end makeup. It is my series called Budget Beauty Buys. And if you wanna go back and look at the playlist of everything I found this year, it is always linked in my description box. You can kind of have a little marathon. I also try and do a lot of TJ Maxx and Marshalls makeup tutorials. I'm gonna to try to do even more next year because I feel like I only did about like three or so this year. It has to be my like top favorite place to shop for makeup and beauty items and fragrance. I just absolutely love going there. I feel like I am home when I am at TJ Maxx and Marshall. And it has been such a pleasure to take you guys with me every single week to the stores. It is truly such a fun part of my week and knowing that I have a wonderful community of you guys who still love shopping with me. If you guys are still riding with me since the beginning, then you are amazing. I know some people come and go, but if you've been watching Budget Beauty Buy since the beginning, comment down below and let me know. I would love to hear from you. So I decided I wanted to make this video a little bit more concise instead of like listing off a bunch of stuff, like everything I bought, then I was like, you know, I'm just going to do my top 10 favorites that I purchased this year. So if you guys are curious, what are my top favorite picks and I'm wearing all of them today, then just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. I noticed a lot of people aren't subscribed, so make sure you hit that red button and also turn on the little bell so you'll get notified every single time I upload. I've been uploading every single day, so let's get into it. So today's video does have a sponsor and it is one of my absolute favorite brands to work with. It is Ana Luisa. They have the most adorable, like precious feminine jewelry ever. They're mine all the time and I really take it off. So I have three new pieces to share with you guys. The first are actually two necklaces I'm wearing together and they're always getting new pieces in and they have like the cutest on trend pieces so i have been in love with this herringbone style of chain and they actually just came out with this one so when i saw that they did i immediately was like yes that is the one that i need to get this style has been so on trend and it actually is from the 70s which is really cool so it's a very very like slight herringbone pattern you really have to see it up close to see it, it kind of looks like a what people might call a snake chain, and it layers really beautifully with other pieces. The herringbone chain is called the Inna. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. The second necklace I'm wearing, it is a really, really tiny and dainty, as most of their pieces are. It is the Marnie Opal. This year, I got really into different gemstones, not for anything other than I just think they're really pretty. Um, so, like, I really love opals and moonstones. So, when they launched this one, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. It is so cute and tiny. This type of necklace is one that I just would wear every day and never take off because it is so lightweight. A little tiny moonstone in there, and it is so pretty. I <laughs> fell in love with these two pieces, and I think they look pretty cute together. And then the third piece, I'm wearing are these earrings which are my new love these are like little hoops but they're like not too big but they're not a mini hoop they're like somewhere in between like a medium size and I just feel like they're not too much they're like just perfect where I could wear these as an everyday hoop they're not gonna get like caught in anything fully fully in love with these hoop earrings and I feel like they just make the outfit called the low medium and they're literally just the perfect size i love gold earrings and this is one of the only jewelry brands that does not irritate my ears i have very sensitive ears and everything itches me never ever have that issue with the ana luisa jewelry they're also running a special holiday sale right now it is buy one get one 60 percent off it is their best sale of the year so if you're looking for affordable holiday gifts seriously such an amazing deal their pieces are so high quality so beautiful i've given them as gifts to my sisters my nieces and they 
all love them and wear them all the time also are made in the same places as like high-end jewelry which is really cool except they don't have that same markup that those super expensive brands have so definitely check out their website i will have these pieces linked down below for you guys and you will love them as much as i do Okay, let's get into the TJ Maxx and Marshall's favorites. So the first one I want to mention is actually a perfume. I probably wouldn't usually start with a perfume, but I have been loving this so much. It's the Skylar Vanilla Sky Rollerball Fragrance. I love the size of this. It is really hard to go through a full fragrance. This one, it smells so good, you guys. I think I paid about $9.99 for this, and vanilla scents are my absolute favorites i love sweet scents so i picked this up at marshall and just so you guys know the retail price on the full bottle this is 85 dollars and the rollerball right now on the skylar website is retailing for 29 dollars so i got an amazing deal on this so i'm gonna read you guys the notes so the top notes are bergamot zest, sweet orange, and cappuccino. I love that it has like a coffee note in there. The middle notes are pure vanilla, jasmine, cinnamon bark, and the base notes are caramelized cedar, sheer amber, and sandalwood. So actually, I mean, a little bit of like a complex kind of mix in there, top to the base notes. Another thing that I just absolutely loved about this is that it is a clean fragrance. A lot of fragrances can have a lot of junk in them. Like I noticed even the dupe scents that I have, like I really like testing out the dupe scents from Five Below, but they have a lot of crap in them, which is, it's so frustrating. But this one is just organic sugar cane alcohol denatured and water. And actually on the website, they have a full fragrant ingredients list where they break down every single ingredient in there. If it's botanical, so I, I really like how transparent they are as a brand. So I absolutely love this. I highly recommend this to you guys if you're looking for just an awesome, clean vanilla scent. I was so excited to share this with you guys. Number two, I think this is the only thing that I'm actually not wearing today on my face. This is the Kopari Lip Glossy. This is in birthday suit. I was so excited when I found this and I had to pick it up. So they had this one and they, I think they also had like a cherry one, but I had a remember i heard maybe like a few months back that kathleen lines mentioned this in a favorites video originally heard it there so then when i found this in i think it was marshall's a couple months back i was like oh my gosh i really want this color because not only is it a gloss bomb but it also has a little bit of this like nude shimmery tint to it that's really pretty to wear on its own and a lot of times you guys i'm just literally like around my house not wearing makeup so if i could just put a little something on even if i'm going out on a walk that my lips can be moisturized because i have really dry lips like all year round that's why i really love this i love glosses with a bit of a like nude tint to them so if you like that too this is perfect and i think this was like 3.99 or 4.99 so kopari is a brand that's at sephora and if you guys didn't know their brand is based off of like coconut oil so that is a huge part of what they do does it last long no it doesn't really last long unfortunately but it is just a lip balm so i do end up just reapplying it but it just gives a really pretty nude glossy tint to the lips three is gonna be this mark jacobs lip liner i am wearing this today i fell in love with this it is in the color slow burn i did a whole tutorial using tons of new makeup i will link the one where i used this down below and i loved the way that that look came out and this is just such a beautiful like mauve deep color really pretty to wear with a pink nude lipstick like i'm wearing today it is so creamy i think i paid maybe like $4.99 or $5.99 for this such a steal i'm just so happy i can get marc jacobs for such a discounted price um it's kind of crazy so if i see more of these i will definitely pick them up there are tons more of these like new jades from his line but there's something so special about this color and it's just so pretty it makes your lips look so juicy i love finding ways to make my lips look a little bit more plumper without having to get any sort of injections. I am terrified of needles, so stuff like a lip injection is not really something that I, I'm very terrified of needles, so I don't know if I could ever do it. So if I can make my lips look fuller with a lip liner, then 
yes standout product for me and this is also a lip liner can you tell i love a certain category it is the lime crime velveteen lip liners i picked up these two colors this year chiffon and then this one is a little bit darker it is drew it's more like a brown with a purple undertone i actually also put this one on today i just kind of put it on the bottom to even like plump up the lips a little bit more with the marc jacobs lip liner these are so lovely. They are super creamy and they just apply so nice on the lips. One of my like least favorite things is when it's really hard to put a lip liner on and you're like struggling for the color to show up. But I also don't like when it's too creamy and it's like, whoa, that was way too much product. This is like a really nice creamy in between. And I love the packaging on these. It's like a really pretty rose. And I just really love these two colors. I am a nude lip liner girl through and through. I love my deep pinks and I feel like the brown. I really kind of dove into this year so I absolutely love these since we're talking about lips um, my next product this is number five it is the Jouer frostbite lip topper and we had seen this year that Jouer had taken over TJ Maxx and Marshalls even this month if you guys have been watching BBB my abbreviation you've been seeing I've been finding so many of these in like the lip creme form and the gloss and the pearl toppers this is one of the pearl lip toppers I stinking love this color I'm wearing it today let me throw on a little bit more so you guys can kind of oh my gosh it is so pretty it is like more on the frosty side but it just oh my gosh the way that it just like highlights the lip it's like a lip highlight that's like the best way I can describe it it is so beautiful I actually have another one of these in more of like a gold tone which is also beautiful so you do need to reapply these they don't last that long but the effect that it gives the lips I love it it's really pretty for like if I'm filming what I love also is they're very lightweight they're not sticky like I feel like I'm literally wearing nothing on my lips and they're also not gritty. Sometimes like glitters can be really gritty, but this is so fine. Like what a beautiful formula this is. I love the packaging. It's really pretty and it was just really cool to start to see this brand come into the stores this year and I just love it because it gives me a chance to try something that I may not have been able to afford at like full price. So that's why I love doing these. I'm going to touch now on to some complexion products. So the first product that I want to share with you guys is the foundation that I'm wearing today. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. This started also showing up this year and I was kind of unsure about it because I had seen some people not love this. But I actually ended up loving this foundation. I also have a video where I was testing this out and I feel like it is a very full coverage. I haven't been using full coverage too much recently, but sometimes I want to have that glam moment or if I feel like I'm breaking out a little bit more than usual or like it has like a little indent for the beauty blender. I just kind of put it on a brush and use it that way. I have this shade 2.30 warm. So I actually got mine for literally like $3. There was one video you guys remember where like all these foundations were on clearance for literally three dollars so that's when I picked mine up I love me some red and yellow tag clearance finds and I think this is just such a beautiful foundation I love the finish it gives to my skin it definitely has a matte finish for us oily girls it is perfect and I think a lot of you guys told me that you ended up picking this up after you saw me use it and talk about how much I liked it which really made me so happy there's nothing more than when you recommend a product you love and other people love it too so i absolutely enjoy this foundation i didn't even tell you the name it's called the liquid whip long wear foundation just such a nice finish and i feel like this is something that would be beautiful in like photos looks really pretty on video too so i absolutely love using this it's hard for me to find a foundation that i love i'm very very picky but this one i really like okay another product that i was so happy to come across is the becca this is the under eye brightening concealer it has this like salmon peachy tone to it it's really creamy and honestly you could just like wear this as concealer if you wanted to but usually i layer my concealer on top of it it brightens up your under eyes so nicely if you maybe didn't get too much sleep if you're a new mom and you need something to like cover up dark circles like i feel like i have dark circles today because i didn't sleep too well last night so i was 
like slathering on all the brightening concealer and it's just such a nice formula I don't like digging my finger in so I prefer to kind of like use a brush for it and also I got this in a little Becca set that had like a little mini champagne pop and I think a powder was in there too but I really really like this and I'm so happy that I can still pick up Becca products at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and it's at a discounted price so you can also find a lot of her stuff on clearance too so just keep your eyes open for the deals and I love this product I'm so happy I was able to find it this was also like a viral TikTok product that everyone was raving about and I definitely think it is worth the hype it really brightens up the under eye area speaking of concealers one that I have used so much this year since I got it mine is actually such a mess <laughs> it's the Marc Jacobs extra shot caffeine concealer and foundation so I do not wear this as foundation I only wear it as concealer and I just feel so bougie when I wear this like I'm wearing a Marc Jacobs concealer and I got it for like $5.99 you can also find these on clearance as well depending on what store you're at so I just like putting this under my eyes it's really honestly more of a light to medium coverage you're not going to get like a shape tape kind of finished with this like I can kind of see my dark circles a little bit when I put this on peeking through so it's more for me like a lightweight day but I just find it such like a nice luxurious concealer and it's just very lightweight I don't feel cakey when I put it on and I just find myself reaching for it a lot so that's why I wanted to include it in my TJ Maxx favorites video also because it is widely available like every time I go I see it there so Definitely recommend this one. I don't know if I had this in my list last year. I'm going to include it again if I did because I love this so much. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bake Powder in Highlight 01. You guys, there has never been a more beautiful, subtle highlight. Oh my goodness. I like to call this like a bridal highlight because it's just very subtle and beautiful. You're not going to get that like glazed donut look from this, but I actually like that because this to me is the perfect highlighter like just for every day it's beautiful as a nose highlighter and I feel like anyone could wear this it's just absolutely stunning it is such a gorgeous formula oh my goodness it reminds me a lot of another favorite of mine which is the essence pure nude but you can find this for $12.99 at TJX and Marshalls or if you find it for less than that sometimes on the clearance racks but I feel like I'm also never gonna run out of this it is just it's chef's kiss you guys I 100% recommend picking this up you will fall in love with this it is just it's perfection I love it can you tell that I just go on and on about products that I love I could like talk about them all day okay so I saved one of my favorites for last you guys maybe you know what this is but my favorite eyeshadows this year and one of my favorite products that I picked up have to be the Cara Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I fell in love with this formula this year and this brand. Oh my goodness, I'm wearing this one today, the Cara Duo Pro 12 The Essentials Palette. And you can actually see I got this for $5. We love to see it. And this is such a beautiful palette. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. To me, and I've said this in my videos, I think Cara Beauty is like the color pop of the discount stores, and I'm so glad I gave them a chance. I really kind of just tried it on a whim because I was there every week, and I kept seeing this brand, and I just kind of took a shot, and I was like, you know what? I never really heard this brand anywhere else before, but I'm going to try it, and I'm so glad I did. I've used this palette so much. You can see I've already hit pan, you guys, on some of the shimmer shades, and it is just Oh my gosh, you need this palette in your life if you like neutrals. And again, look for it on clearance if you can find it. I think now these are like $12.99. And I did also pick up another one to try with you guys on camera. A lot of you guys requested me to do one with that like smokier looking one. I think it's the Goddess Nem. So I'll hopefully do one of those probably like at the start of 2022. I've used this palette to go to weddings. I feel like this would be great also if you're a makeup artist. The mattes are really nice. They blend really nicely. I don't have any issues working with them. Just amazing quality. I feel like I have everything I need in this palette. And oh my gosh, the shimmers are beautiful. I'm wearing this one on the lid. It's called Luminous. I love these like chunky shimmer shades. I think they are so beautiful. I did like a little cut crease. 
I feel like every time I do my makeup with these shadows, I love the way my eyeshadow turns out. So that one, and then I'm including this one in this category because it's the same thing from this brand, another eyeshadow palette. This is La Chica Enamorada. Hopefully I said that good enough. This gorgeous palette, oh my goodness, I did a whole look using this and it is still one of my favorite looks that I did this year. It was like a pink and purple eye. I loved it so much. I adore purples, pinks, and then like warm tones mixed in and this is just perfect for that. I think I paid like $4.99 for this. It is just perfect. I love, like absolutely adore these like shimmery pinks down here. They're like actually purples and just like the matte of color. This to me is just so fun, so inspirational. What a gorgeous formula and so affordable. And like their packaging is on point, you guys. Like the way they even do the makeup on the little cartoon is beautiful. I love like even the little hairstyle she has with the butterflies such an amazing brand i would love to like collect even more of their palettes they have more of these they have more like a blue green one but of course i was attracted to the purples and the pinks i've used this so many times you can see i've like used the shimmers a lot i always reach for this and you can stay more neutral or you can do colorful or you can combine them both so i had had to like put this in my number one spot because i just found myself using these every single week and they're just a tried and true favorite find this year from TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I cannot recommend them to you guys enough. Okay guys, so that is it for my top 10 TJ Maxx and Marshalls beauty purchases this year. I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much and it helps my videos be pushed out to more people. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support this year. If you watch any of my videos, if you commented, it means so much to me. Thank you guys. And it has been another fun year. And I was looking at my collection and I was like, oh my gosh, I really didn't buy that much and I was actually really proud of that I really limit myself and I try to only buy things that I know I'm going to use and love or like test out in a tutorial for you guys and I always say to myself I'm like if I buy too much stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls I'm gonna be ending up working there when I'm like 75 years old because I spent it all when I was in my 20s and 30s so <laughs> that's a little tip for you guys if you are trying to limit your TJ Maxx and Marshalls purchases. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's buy one and get one 60% off sale. I will have that all linked in my description box. I love you guys as always and I will see you in my next video. Bye!